तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्म Hello everyone, welcome again. This is Padma Menon. On this channel, I share with you information and practices from ancient goddess wisdom from my culture, which is India. In the last few days, one of the themes that has been coming up again and again from the women that I work with individually and in the group classes is the theme of women's sensuality, sensuousness, and pleasure. In goddess wisdom, Pleasure is an essential attribute, experience, sensation of consciousness, and it goes side by side or hand in hand with ferocity. They are really enmeshed two sides of the same coin. And I think one of the reasons why um, it has been coming up so much in recent times is because in many parts of the world, we are living in times of an extreme intensification of patriarchy. There is a real heavy command, control, uh, suppression of the feminine that's happening in so many parts of the world. And also the second reason, I think, is because as women, you know and you have felt how your pleasure, your sensuality and your sensuousness has for centuries been mediated and has been in service. And here we are now, it has been so completely outsourced that we can't even think of pleasure that is independent of everything else. So we have outsourced pleasure now, it's become almost the same as comfort, which is a very deadening word really. And we think of you know, pleasure being tied mostly to consumerism. You know, pleasure is about buying something or pleasure is about going on social media and counting the number of likes you've had or uh, going on a holiday somewhere. Even spirituality has become something that is outsourced pleasure. You know, you go to an exotic location for a retreat and something like that. So this experience of pleasure that is absolutely independent of anything else, that it is an intrinsic experience of consciousness is something that we have been disconnected from. And as women, the, as patriarchy intensifies, I think you, me, we, we are feeling this yearning again, this, this, this truth that we have, which is that, hey, pleasure, sensuousness is something that is in our bodies, it's in our consciousness. And we don't need anybody's permission, we don't need it to be mediated, we are absolutely able to move in it um, by ourselves. So here is this very simple practice from the Goddess Wisdom tradition. And this is a practice called the practice of the elephant. A lot of the time in Goddess Wisdom, these kind of shape-shifting practices were used to teach particular sensations. So we're not actually imitating an animal or a bird when we do this, but we are approaching the teaching of that animal in a very particular way and internalizing that in our own sensation. So here is this practice of the elephant. It's a beautiful and simple practice. So I invite you to join me, have fun, but also connect with that beautiful sensation of pleasure and sensuality in your own body. So I'm going to step back here. The first thing we do is we drop into the, the experience of our body as expansive. You know how the elephants are these large animals with very expansive, they've got those expansive foreheads and those expansive bodies. So we're going to move into that expansiveness of the body. Yes, so we start with our feet together, but we drop into the weight. So we push our hips back a little bit and just drop, feel the weight in the feet, feel the weight in the feet. And what we're going to do is we, it's like we're scattering pearls with the feet. So we go da 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 The hips are loose and we end up here. It's like a flower that's closed and petal by petal by petal, lower body. 
because that's where the goddess practice is completely in the lower chakras, in our groundedness. That's why this is a grounded practice of sensuousness. So here we are dropping in again into the hips, into our feet with the weight, soften those knees, loosen up the hips and do 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 to scatter the pearls. When you're there, just feel that. The breadth of the body, the expansion of the body. This expansiveness is one of the fundamental qualities of goddess consciousness. You know, the, the Sanskrit name for earth, Prithvi, means expansive. Yes. So now with our hands, we're just going to follow and feel, bring up that grounded expansion from up. So we open our hearts out, we open our faces, and we open the arms. So we bring that up into our upper body. So here we are dropping again into the feet and do, 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 open the heart, open the chest, raise the chest, spread it, and move the hips, feel the ocean between the hips. Ta -da -dum. Here we are in this beautiful expansion. And now on this, we're going to bring, think of the years of the elephant. You know how the years go flapping in and out. Here it is. I come from a part of India called Kerala where Elephants are very much part of our daily lives in temple ceremonies. And I remember as a child standing on top of the second floor of the temple and looking down at these elephants as they stood in these ceremonial rituals. And you could see this elephant moving its hips, shifting its weight, flapping its ears. It was absolutely like a trance. I could, I could stand there for hours just watching this beautiful dance of the elephants. And here we are. So as the, the ears flap out and closing in, feel that in your upper body, in the opening of the lower body, and in the eyes, opening out. Look at the hands and in and out through the hips, through the hips, feeling that sensuality. And it's so grounded. So we can walk now, one step, ta, and ra, ta, and along the earth, along the earth, ta, da, ta, run. Ta, da, ta. Very, it's, it's like, it's expansive. There's a kind of squareness, but not really. But you know what I mean is that groundedness. It's so connected to the earth, fluid through the hips and languid in the arms. And there is, Elements of abandon. It's so about nothing else other than this beautiful movement. It's, you know, when you watch these elephants, they're just doing it. There is no purpose. They're just doing it for no reason but because they have that sensation. It's there in their consciousness. Ja, da, 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 da. And now, we bring a bit of a taste, a color of ferocity in here. Like I said, it's always interconnected, that strength, presence, ferocity. So the eyes in this practice are said to be red. By that is that strength in the eyes. There is intensity and strength. So widening the eyes, widening, presence.
you can again see this in the elephants as they're doing this incredible presence so widen bring strength into the eyes we don't go into passivity there's absolute presence in the eyes bright and strong and wide are you breathing just breathe da, dun, da, dun, dun. Da 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 dun, da da dun, and the elephants love water. So we're bringing that sensation in the hips of water. The second chakra is the water. So the hips, it's like the hips are floating, carrying water keeping that presence in the eyes, breathing, and allow the expression to come into your face. Your face is absolutely part of the body, into your eyes. What is it doing? How does it change your expression? And now we're going to add that water, all of it, the eyes, the expansive body, grounded, so connected to the earth, along the earth, with fierce presence, and yet such compassionate languidity. feel that you fulfilled that practice and the movement just come back into the lower body just coming back into putting your awareness into the lower three chakras you know, just below your hips below the waist below the waist breathing and slowly bring that to a close. So I do hope that you will enjoy this practice and if you do let me know what your experiences are. I am offering this practice because I think it is really important for women in these times to sit in our own pleasure, in our sensuality, in our, in our beauty, sensuousness, because the, in Goddess Wisdom, pleasure is the lens through which everything happens. In fact, it is said that everything comes into being, the earth, universe, cosmos, us, because of pleasure. And it is only when we connect with that intrinsic sensation of pleasure in our own bodies that we viscerally connect to how pleasure is infuses everything around us, how everything is steeped in pleasure. And the other thing, of course, is that pleasure is the source of creativity, aesthetics, the source of creativity. And by creativity, I don't just mean, you know, that you have a creative output, that you write a poem or make a dance. Of course, that could be the case, but it's more about the creativity with which you live your life on a day-to-day -day basis. What, how do you live your life creatively? How does life itself become a creative experience? And that happens when we connect to the intrinsic nature of consciousness, which is pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you will find much pleasure in this practice and that I will have the pleasure of your company on this channel again.